After pioneering one of Scotland's first district heating systems at the Commonwealth Games Athletes Village, Glasgow-based contractor CCG is now focused upon larger-scale projects that will heat affordable housing in a carbon-neutral way, discovers Agnes Stevenson. In 2025, gas boilers will be banned from all new homes. The government decision, which will come into force in just five short years, is the boldest move yet towards ending the use of fossil fuel in heating systems and it will mark a significant milestone in the bid to make this country carbon neutral. Already, Glasgow City Council has declared its intention to become the UK's first carbon neutral city and has given 2030 as its deadline and Edinburgh has published an £8 billion plan setting out how it is going to match that date. But how do these laudable ambitions coexist with the Scottish Government's affordable housing supply programme, which is unlikely to come to a halt when the first target of 50,000 homes by 2021 is reached? Is it truly possible when working within financial constraints to design new homes that are fuel-efficient and affordable to heat and which do not add to the carbon burden on our environment? CCG Scotland believes that it is. The award-winning Glasgow-based contractor, which is part of one of Scotland's largest privately owned construction and manufacturing companies, is leading the way and looking afresh at construction and developing new ways of meeting demands for new housing while also caring for the environment. Six years after the opening of the Athletes' Village in Glasgow, where it pioneered one of the first district heating systems in Scotland, the company is investing in an innovative programme of research and development into net-zero strategies for heating new-build homes. Cutting carbon, David Wiley of CCG has a firm track record in eco-friendly innovation. This is a thorough examination of both existing methods and new technologies, examining strengths and weaknesses, looking at where improvements can be made, assessing what needs to change in order to achieve carbon-neutral outcomes and also assessing the costs involved in each of the options. The solution to cutting carbon emissions, says Managing Director, David Wiley, may well be different depending on the size and geographic location of individual developments. But in order to give clients a true picture of what is possible then research and development into materials and construction methods is essential. Clients need to be able to assess both the costs and the benefits if they are to be in a position to make the right decisions for their project. And while new technologies will play a part in creating carbon-neutral homes in the future, the potential to make homes carbon-neutral already exists using what's already available. W. For more on this story, visit the news article link.